Watching voices and votes. Uh, the last decade has seen a major shift for China's navy from coastal defense to greater responsibilities in the deep sea. The country is increasingly concerned about the safety of its sea lanes and the security of development. CCTV reporter Han Bin finds out how the People's Liberation Army Navy is meeting the challenges. China's nuclear submarines, anti-ship ballistic missiles, and its first aircraft carrier. Symbols of a rising naval power. Rear Admiral In Zhuo says the Navy is undergoing a profound transformation. The key motives for the transformation of PLA Navy come from the requirements of the country's economic development, which is connected with the deep blue sea. The Navy has to protect both the security and economic interests of China. The Admiral is a member of China's political advisory body. Over the years, his proposals have focused on China's maritime rights. He believes any future battles are most likely to take place at sea. Training has been intensified, and especially in what's known as blue water missions, those in the open seas. Senior Captain Cao Weidong showed us the route of the most recent training. It goes through the East China Sea, the Miyako Strait, and waters off the eastern coast of Taiwan. The fleets relied completely on themselves to carry out their maritime combat capabilities, like air defense, anti-submarine and open sea combat. Deep sea training is the most realistic training that simulates actual combat situations. Training for the carrier-based fighters and pilots has made remarkable breakthroughs. The Liaoning now docks in the eastern port of Qingdao, waiting for possible deep-sea training later in the year. The aircraft carrier can fundamentally change the structure of naval forces. It can form a battle group with frigates, amphibious fleets, and submarines. This reveals the direction of PLA naval development in line with maritime power. Under a new strategy, the PLA's warships will pass through more international streets and waters to improve overall capabilities. China's increasing integration with the world requires a stronger navy to protect its interests, as well as for open sea international missions. And China's island disputes with some of the neighboring countries are another factor of consideration. The PLA Navy is speeding up its transformation to build a maritime power. Han Bin, CCTV.